guys. Look what's here. There are packages that are as tall as me. <laughs> and I'm so happy. Like, these packages are coming from Ronald Meinl. And in there are two new Axiom label series guitars by Ibanez. I don't know which of these guitars are in there, so it will be a full surprise for me as well. So let's unbox these babies. Don't try this at home. guitars in there. Now I know why this package was so damn heavy. <laughs> Look at this. Gorgeous. So let's see what guitar is in there. I don't know. I think it's an S series. Is it the gray one? I haven't seen it. Is it the gray one? No. Yes it is. <laughs> oh my god. I just could tell by the weight that it's the gray one. Oh this thing is gorgeous. And we have here a three-way toggle switch for the pickup positions and here a tech coil. That means we have either a humbucker or a single coil. What a dream! It's so light! <laughs> Heavy. It's a heavy guitar. So I think it's the blue guitar, seven string. I don't know the seven string, it's a baritone. It's blue one, baritone. No, I was wrong. But it's a seven string. <laughs> it's funny. One well, half of my guess was right. Oh, don't mess with the screws. Are these bare knuckles? I think they are. Beautiful. I, I never owned a purple guitar. That's something completely new for me. I think I can record some tapping and up part with this one too. Part of times. Let's see. <laughs> And now we have the last package or the second package and as this one was more lightweight than the first one I guess there's just one guitar inside now we have it yes there's just one guitar inside. Look, it's empty. And this guitar might be the heaviest so far. So, yeah, this might be the blue one. The one I assumed that one to be. It 
it's the blue one, right? With the maple fretboard. Oh, it's really heavy. Same color as my eyes, I might say. <laughs> ah, not, not quite. Okay. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Six string, really cool neck. And I think it's similar to the neck on my other seven string, I don't know. Right. Between the video of the unboxing and this take, there are two weeks passed since I got sick and then I got lots of work to do. Enough talking, I will now continue with the specs. All of the three guitars are looking different in terms of color, in terms of fretboards and in terms of pickups. But let's just see what they share in common. And if I turn this guitar around, you will get an idea. It's the neck. They all have a five-piece panda panda neck. Compare these. And the third guitar, I cannot lift it, but just believe me, they all have the same neck. And concerning the fretboard, we have here bird's eye maple. It's a really nice fretboard. I mean, look at this. It's pretty. And on the seventh string here, and on the sixth string there, we have Bound Makassar Ebony as a fretboard. All of the three guitars have 24 sub-zero jumbo frets. These two guitars, and I think this one as well. Yes. It might not be visible now since we are in a light room, but these thingies here, the side dots, will start to glow when you are in a dark room. So whenever you're on stage and the lights fail, you will be able to orientate yourself on the fretboard. Well, you should too, without having side notes. But... Cannot be too bad. Now let's turn to the shapes. We have here normal scale guitars for Ibanez measures, like 648mm. And here we have a baritone guitar, it's 670 three millimeters in scale and you also hear this when you're playing it. This one here has a bright tone but it's also really really mean and it goes like in the direction of a seven string guitar. I really like the sound of this one. Right. We have here an RGA shape, the purple seven string. We have here an RGD shape and another special Ibanez shape is the S series shape. If I turn this guitar around like this, you will see that the body is really slim, which results in a lightweight guitar. I can lift it with one arm. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And this is also my favorite series when I want to play it live on stage.
their bodies. They all have a flame maple body, but here we have layered ash as topping. If you come around, you will see the different layers here. And I think this is the most beautiful of these three guitars. It's so plain beautiful. I just can't describe it. And this blue burst is really great. Here we have also kind of a nice top. And this one here is looking also pretty interesting. And speaking of interesting parts, now we turn to the pickups. We have here two bare knuckle pickups. And they have an interesting finish, like if you can see it, it's some kind of oily looking. I think it suits perfectly to the body color. It's like, you know, shimmering. Really cool. So here, first, on the headstock, it's really nice. Here we have two Imasio pickups. It's kind of the normal pickups Ibanez uses. And here we have something really special. These are two Fishman Fluence Modern Humbuckers. And these are active pickups. So these, this is the guitar with the only active pickups out of this three. And another thing that the six string here, she has in color with the seven string, is the coil tab. So you can split the humbucker into single coils with this lever or not, I don't know the English word right now. And all of the three guitars just have a volume up. With this guitar here, you might not have the same sound range, since you just have here a three-way toggle switch and a volume knob. But let me tell you, this guitar is sounding pretty badass. Also something that is really nice and handy are the secure locks of Schaller. I think it's the new version of them. So whenever you apply these, on a guitar, you might just use one strap and you can play all the guitars. It's a nice to have, I think. I have prepared some guitar covers and most of them are already released. So for sound samples, I refer to these guitar covers and I have rendered versions of them without the backing train. So that you can get an idea how these axes sound like playing. So just take a listen. tested out these three beautiful axes for some time already and I've got my favorite. But before I tell you what's my fav, just post in the comments below what guitar is appealing to you most. Right, if I would just choose a guitar because of beauty and such, I would just tend to the 
six string, the blue guitar, the RGD because it's plain beautiful and I love blue guitars. If I choose the guitar just because it should be something special, I would choose the purple guitar, the seven string, because it's really a different guitar than what you're used to. And if I would choose a guitar concerning tone and playing comfort, it would be the grey guitar. And all in all, I would just decide for myself, I will take the grey guitar because it's so cool. It's lightweight, I love the sound, and it's also kind of nice looking. So here we go. My personal winner! I also have a small giveaway for you. As you might have noticed, I really like to wear some rings. And I got one of the man with the hat. It's one of my favorite rings here. Now your subscribers have no idea who I am, but I'm a metal detectorist in England and I find loads of things, mainly rubbish, but also silver coins and other coins, and I love to turn them into coin rings. And to help you recover faster, I know you love the maple leaf and your favourite country is Canada, so I've made you a lovely Canadian maple leaf coin ring and it's on its way to you right now. And I'm giving away one of his crafts. It's this silver Australian florin and all you have to tell me is whenever you're playing guitar or playing live in a band, if you do, what's your favourite accessory you like most to wear? So put it in the comments below, I choose a winner, I will contact you and the winner will get this beautiful ring made by the man with the hat. And last but not least I want to say many many thanks to all of my patrons and patrons supporting me there because without you I won't be able to do all the stuff I'm doing and a huge news is coming since I will start to build up my own studio so I will just get some space over there and have a whole corner for myself. Last but not least I want to do a shout out to all of my patrons at Patreon supporting me there and special thanks go out to Mike, Michael, Mike, Guillermo, Trey, Bruno Pierre, Harald and the Sanaya Breakfast Club. You guys rock! Otherwise I'm working on some Patreon covers so just stay tuned and rock on.